There have been times in my life where I've been wondering why. Still, I always believed we'd always survive. Uh, and now I'm not so sure you're waiting to hear one good reason to try. What more can I say? What's left to provide? You think that maybe it's so over. Not if you don't want it to be. Are you gonna wait for a sign? Your miracle. A stand up and fight. This is it. Make no mistake where you are. Your back's to the corner. Don't be a fool anymore. The waiting is over, it's over. Nowhere to hide. Y'all remember that song? Keep me near in your heart. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is it. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And you know what? I've been um uh uh I'm I'm gonna put this in the, on the community page. I've been wrestling with the mental health or the mental magazine, since I do more than one story sometimes, um, and I like to do it like in a magazine format, so I need some help from y'all. I'll probably put it in a, uh, on a community poll, and y'all tell me what y'all think. Mental magazine, or the mental house. Um, I'm going to leave that to my friendly, friendly, friendly subscribers to um help me out with that. Um I also I also want to um let's do a little we're doing a little housekeeping here as they say. I want to thank the new subscribers uh people that um that pop into my mind is a uh, wind delicious not easily broken. Oh, I love that. I love that one. Not easily broken. And uh, Tracy Hawthorne. I want to uh, thank y'all for uh, be, becoming new subscribers. I didn't give you a shout out before like I usually love to do. Um, it's just been so crazy. Um, but I want to take the time and let you know that you are appreciated. I appreciate you for being out there. And because of all the content creators you could have subscribed to, you you did, and you subscribed to me. So I thank you. Um, this video ain't going to be very long, family, because it's going to test y'all y'all fortitude, and it's going to test our, uh, our psychosis and how much damage is really done to us. It's a little quiz. Because, like I said, if white folks got a cold, we got pneumonia, right? We've all established that, okay? We've also established that we've got a bunch of sellouts, hypocrites, and uh, agent provocateurs in our own race that will lead us to the slaughter, that will watch, off, watch us fall off a hill and not warn us that there is a hill up yonder. We got all kinds. We got those that want to simulate the dominant society so much that they will turn their own mother into jello in order to do it. So what I'm here to ask today is I know y'all know the difference between crazy and not crazy. Because you got them in your family. 
criminals. You got them in your family. And I just want to know, I want to take your pulse and see if you really, really know right from wrong. So, you know, we can say what we want to say about Joe Biden, you know. Um, and they saying he can't win, Right. I just have a problem with starting to dance with somebody, not getting the opportunity to even re to to challenge him with somebody a half a year ago and then wait three months before the election and because everybody's saying they're not gonna vote for him, we decide to jump ship. Well, whoever we jump ship with, we don't have a lot of time to procrastinate and decide like it's like this a damn smorgasbord. Oh, I think I'll take Adam Schiff. Oh, I think I'll take uh, Kamala Harris for 25, please. Oh, I think I'll take... No, it, this is not how any of this shit works. Okay? Now, you went to the dance with Joe Biden. For the last year, it, he been senile. You still had infrastructure work. You still... Well, I'm not going to get into that. I don't even want to talk about Joe Biden. But if this is your boy, and you okay with an, um, somebody being a nuclear threat, if you okay with somebody being racist that would have a Muslim band that like teenage girls, he hung out with Epstein until he passed away or hid himself, one or the other, you know the man got a personality disorder because he's cut off the same cloth as a Mussolini or a Hitler. He tried to create an insurrection. Not only do you have blacks for Trumps, who I believe is another mentally ill group, who would want to vote for somebody that's discriminated against black people in, in the housing and shit he lost. Remember that suit? I mean, I... I I don't understand how black people would even vote for somebody like that. That that kicked their relatives and other blacks and minorities out of their building. And the way they did it was no, nothing short of abhorrent. It was horrible how they treated the people, the, the residents. Uh, Donald Trump and them bought a building that was already occupied with black and brown people. And more, you know, and more brown and black than anything. And he they kicked and poor whites. They kicked them out like they were pieces of trash. Now I ain't got time to go and read all the information in the story for me because I know y'all microwave babies, but I, I ain't the one. I'm an oven baby. And I'm just bringing it to you. If you want to know if it's true or not, then your show responsibility to look that up. I ain't finna make it easy for you on the silver platter. Because you need to do some uh, research if you're that stupid. So at least your motion towards that information will convict you or it will constitute you being active in your own knowledge or complicit in your own death, one, which, whichever one. Okay, he wanted to steal the votes because I ain't done yet. I'm only on number seven. He's a convicted felon for and rape. <laughs> okay. This is the candidate y'all want to stand side. He buried his wife, his first wife, on a damn golf course for a tax break. This how unethical we rolling now as black people? Huh? Because I'm specifically talking to y'all stupid asses today. Not my supporters, because I know y'all got better sense than this. But for the other ones that are that damn crazy, this is it. Make no mistake where you are. This is it. Then think about the Central Park ad, where he wanted to put four innocent black teens to death. So bad that he took out a full page ad to have him uh, to talk about police and uh, how to kill those black boys. Y'all ain't got no problem with that. Y'all black men talking about black for Trump, Eddie Griffin, all of y'all. I mean, y'all y'all want to be led by a colonizer. That's the only way I can think of. And y'all have gotten so ignorant, 
or you got uh, wives of the uh, dominant society and you want to show them, look, baby, I know how to cut off my nose despite my face. That's the kind of Negro you are. Then you got a, 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 a person that wants to just suspend the Constitution. He already telling you. And so that means we got to deal with this handmade tail shit. Where I had more rights than my granddaughter. Listen to this. A society is a, supposed to evolve, not go backwards. Uh, uh, I mean, no abortions under any circumstances. When I can tell you right now, the uh, all the sex sites, all the trans sexual sites, all the trans um, trans people are really making a lot of money at this RNC convention because the the phone is off the chain with them ordering services. The Republicans from these uh, diabolical websites, but they want to put people in jail for having sex and having abortions, and and all, they the biggest group of hypocrites that it ever was. Now don't get me wrong; I told you I do know that the the, the shit is two different wings on the same bird. The big bird, the body part, is white supremacy. The arms, the left arm, is the Republican. The, I mean, the, the Dem, uh, Democrats and the right arm is the Republican. Okay? Now, the only difference is you possibly can get more stuff done. Well, you, you, you can get more stuff done under the umbrella of Democrats. And so what has to happen, though, you have to understand that we have to either be a nation for all people or no people. All people, and that's what the Democrat, and we got to kick the ones out the Democratic Party that don't believe that. If they got that racist shit going on and uh, unwavering a uh, mindset that they just want their donors and to make the Nancy Pelosi and all those other ones who got so much money from donors, they got to be stopped. We got to somehow take all this money out of politics. I don't know how it's going to be done. But I know the only way we're going to get through anything is going to be through that particular party. Okay? If y'all saying they'll go for anything, then that, that means they'll go for us saying we need this. and But we got to stay on them. Like gay people stayed on them. Like transgender people stayed on them. Like Asian, we got to stay on this because, see, we are not very intelligent when it comes to politics. Hell, we only been free a hundred and some years. So we don't have, we don't have, we not, sometimes we do shit that's not in our best interest. And because we get so mad at a personality, politics is not about personalities. Okay? But I do know, most people think that it is, and that's why they can put two contrasts up there. Joe Biden and the rapist. The rapist. No abortions under any circumstance. So that means if your perverted uncle rape you or if a Jeffrey Dahmer type or Maxwell Anderson type rape you, you got to carry the baby. And I don't know what they think women was doing before abortions was illegal. You think they was we was carrying your infidel, riffraff, nutty ass, crazy babies? Or you think we was lunging ourselves down the steps, put, putting clothes hangers up our vagina, everything, everything, not to have a baby by a person that I can't stand. So, you know, y'all y'all being real stupid now. And then here go the worst thing for black men. No black men in his cabinet, not a one. Not the first time and not going to be this second time. How do you feel supporting a person and then you sit back and lick his booty so you can hope that he might uh, 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 um, suggest your name for a running mate, but he sh shocked all of y'all, didn't he? He fooled all of you a boot licking uh, Byron McDonald's and, and, and Tim Scott. He, he had all y'all asses in a vice, didn't he? 
Y'all thought y'all was going to be a running mate. You think he wanted to be bothered with your black ass? That's how stupid you are. Slavery has really messed your mind up. No black man in his cabinet, and y'all think y'all going to be the first. All the black men that was there before, he ain't picked not one. The only one he did pick and sent to the uh, head of housing, I'm sorry, he did have one. I, I'll take that back. Ben Carson, who don't know who the fuck he is. Oop. But it is what it is. He sold secrets to Russia and others, whoever bought them. Y'all don't care about that. So we don't know who got how much information he sold because he don't care. He, he, he's an autoc he don't, he autocrat, a, a riffraff. He, he don't care. He's a master liar and a psychopath and a cult leader. Y'all don't care about nothing about none of that? What black person do you think could ever get out the door with these kind of uh, charges and shit against them? They got mad at Barack Obama for having a tan suit. Y'all are a disgrace. Tell my build a wall. But Mexicans was here first, you stupid fools. Los Angeles. Uh, what do you think? the Mexican and American war was all about. They displaced the damn native of the land and moved their asses in and they got the nerve to claim a country that somebody else was already here. And y'all so stupid, y'all saying the same thing. Make America great again. Man, when was America ever great for indigenous people? You damn fools. Oh, I'm so sorry. I I'm just a little agitated right now with the stupidity that's going around, to even compare Joe Biden. I don't care what he did with the uh, crime bill. He couldn't have done that without the Black Caucus. I don't care what he did. He ain't done none of all of this crazy shit. And y'all ain't got no problem to my get away from him. But this is the person y'all talking about. So I want to focus on this man for a minute and see how could you be so crazy. Because anybody, any old nut will do Besides this one right here, he want to build a wall. <laughs> but then again, he got Mexicans working on all of his damn, uh, <coughs> excuse me, all his resorts and golf courses and properties. Mexicans. You had a stupid ass DeSantis talking about he uh, no Mexicans allowed there and he ran them all out. Well, who gonna do all the work? Who you think gonna pick the watermelons and all this shit? And y'all have y'all forgotten? Mexicans are doing all the work that our lazy asses don't want to do. Can't do. Won't do anymore. Cause we've been beat down, and black people are tired in their cellular memory. So I don't compare us to no other group. We are a unique group of people, Adolf. We the people who had their muscle worked off the bone, worked from can't see morning to can't see night. And that's all in our cellular memory, all of it, all the pain, all the distrust, all the mistrust, all the molesting. All the burning, all the torturing, all that is in our DNA. And now we got the most severe case of Stockholm Syndrome that a, a group can ever have. And then y'all want to get mad at Buster Rhyme because he said black people, black Americans don't have no culture. Y'all want to get mad. What is, your, what is our culture? Sexy red? Everything derogatory, everything the white man put in front of us that he created in the Tavistock Institute to make us look like we the worst people on the face of the earth. And because we so poor and we want money so bad, we are representing like that. My my pussy brown, my booty hole pink or whatever it is. We, we, we that broke. That we'll let people let us represent ourselves to our little babies like this, our little girls. Let me say something before I go because I'm getting a little worked up and I don't, and like I said, it is what it is. All I know is the the, the devil got six, has 6,000 years to rule. His time is up. And if we're not going to get along and we're not going to share this and we're not going to 
uh, uh, make good of this beautiful, beautiful land that God has given us, that uh, universe has bestowed upon us, all the gifts that we have that make us beautiful, whether you black or you white, and we can't see the good in each other, then maybe it is time for the civilization to die. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to go in that handbasket to die, take your personality of Donald Trump, the personality. And don't worry about, uh, you know, Joe Biden and what he going to do. Just, just do what you're doing. Because any sane and rational person would look at the whole book. And, yeah, they would say Joe Biden got some issues. But they wouldn't vote for a man that's straight for the stroke that's need to be in an insane asylum. Uh, Joe Biden is old like my mama. He got Alzheimer's like my mama. I wouldn't throw her out. I roll. I roll. I'm rolling with her to the to the end. To the wheels fall off. If I have to hold her up. If she tell me something, I speak her language, and she tell me something, then I'm gonna have to come out with. What's in the best interest of her? And I'd rather take my chances with her and having a hand in it than to be dealing with a demagogue like this. With all these things. And I ain't even finished uh, naming his transgressions. The total blasphemy of a person making their own Bible. See, I mean, and for all you Christians you and evangelicals, and if y'all still can stomach Paul the White's ass, what's the other one that looked like a, a, a straight de demon? Kenneth Copeland. Y'all still want to roll with that? My people will perish for the lack of knowledge. They will. And um, whoever you vote for, Whoever you vote for. If you vote for Trump, then you get just what you deserve. Because we'll never vote again. And I know it's hard to believe because they've been threatening us with that shit for a long time. Oh, this is going to be the worst election. This is going to be the most important. Yeah, they've been lying for a long time like the boy that cried roof. But now the wolf is really here. And what we going to do, America, what we going to do, sane and rational people in this America, black or white or uh, uh, brown, what, what we going to do? I'll wait for your answers. Matter of fact, leave your comment below. Because this is it. Make no mistake where you are. You're going no further. Don't be a fool anymore. The waiting is over. It's over. I'll see y'all in the next video. You make the choice of how it goes. Not up to me this time.